today we have the distinct pleasure of having our STEM Career Day. Vanderlyn is an advanced ed STEM certified school and we promote STEM education in a very special way by today offering the kids the opportunity to hear from different um, companies representatives from different companies that have chosen to come out and share their STEM expertise with our students. Today here at Vanderland Elementary we are having our STEM Career Day and what that means is that parents and community members who have careers in STEM fields are coming in to talk to the students about the importance that the science, technology, engineering, and math plays in their field. We really want the students to understand the relevance of taking science, technology, engineering, and math in our activity block that we have because many children from kindergarten through fifth grade don't understand the relevance in their daily lives to these fields. And so that's why we have STEM Career Day so they can see they know what their parents have, but other parents of these schools, community members, how the science, technology, engineering, and math impact their job or their career choices in the future. Fluids, right? So this is a bag of fluids. If you're sick, if something bad happens to you, then we put an IV in. And just like you guys, dogs and cats get IVs too, and we give them fluids to make them feel all better, and that's a different medicine. Have right. you ever been to Dollar General? Yeah. Dollar Tree? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. yes. We deliver all those things, and your parents have cars. We deliver tires. Firestone, Goodyear, the tires that goes on your car. We deliver all that. Snyder delivers 40% of the freight in the United States. 40% which is a lot. So what we do is we pick it up in Atlanta. Where is it? Can you guys show me Atlanta? Very good. Okay. We pick it up here and the train, the train, right? The train takes it all the way across the country to California. So this is going to work. So you guys are going to make a series circuit first. So the way it's going to happen is you're going to have a battery and you're like that. Okay. <laughs> Good job. You're ahead of the game. I like that. So the way it's going to work is you're going to have these wires that have clips on them, right? The clip goes on the battery like this, and that's what gets the electricity flowing, okay? And then you're going to clip the other side onto a light, and then you're going to take another wire and do the exact same thing on the other side. Got it? Yeah. Looks good. You guys are doing great. Keep it up. I'm going to just use one strip for yours. I know. I, just, I can't make out of anything out of it. So I twist it once. Twist it twice. All right. No twisting, no nothing. So, do you think, do you guess what I'm going to make? No. No? It's an eight. It's an eight right It's an now. eight. Yes. So, I cut through the middle. And then, I cut straight through. So, just one strip. I can't literally make anything out of it. No, I really can't. It's just one strip. All right, so it was one circle, right? Yeah. Now you have two. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's, it's okay. Now they're handcuffed. Oxygen. 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 Carbon dioxide. So let's try to do the oxygen first. Let's put two reds together because we're breathing at that point. I don't two have oxygen. To. This, can I borrow it? This is what it looks like, the oxygen you breathe in. See, there's no spaces to connect anything else. This is what we're breathing in right now. Isn't it cool? Only one person was allowed to work on this car while it was in production process. And after they complete it, they put their name and their signature right here. Oh, and that's cool. cool. Right here to hold you in your seat. Oh, that's cool. Yes. Yeah. Okay. 
Alrighty, how do you feel? Good. Do you like the car? Yeah. Do you feel safe? Yeah. Why don't we push on that lift battle right there, the brake button all the way down there, and then push the button there once. Uh, keep pushing, to be both of them together. So, keep pushing on the, on the left side, uh-huh, and let it go. Okay? Oh no, she broke Wait. Oh no, because, why, why the car did not stop? Because the key is inside the car. Yeah. I'm cleaning my pocket. All right. Yes, so now try it again. Keep, press and hold the brake, and push the button down. There we go. All right. So now, what I want you to do, see that little button right here? Pull it down until it says Sport Plus on the instrument cluster. There we go. How's that Ooh, feel that is now? Nice. Yeah? Right? That is so you're allowed to do only one gas push. Is it this one? The one to the right. <laughs> nice. Alright. Yeah. Alright, good. My name is Duncan Hasty. Uh, I've got a son, Van Hasty, who's in the fourth grade here at Van Erland Elementary School. Uh, I volunteered here today uh, ta at STEM Career Day. Uh, I am a civil water resource engineer at Dewberry Engineers here in Atlanta. Uh, so I talked to the second graders at the school uh, about engineering as a career. So I gave an overview on all the different disciplines in engineering, aeronautical engineering, mechanical engineering, civil, nuclear, environmental, uh, etc. And then kind of gave them a little more detail on water engineering and what we do. I'm Ryan Mendel. I'm uh, head of IT at Cabbage here in Atlanta. My daughter Nina uh, is uh, in the first grade here at Vanderlyn Elementary and I'm very happy to be here at uh, STEM Career Day. Uh, I had a really great time uh, visiting the second graders today talking about working in IT. Uh, definitely uh, could see the um, you know the STEM learnings here uh, has driven a lot of interest uh, in the technology especially uh, I talked a little bit about the different professions available working in technology um, and uh, just being so wide-ranging uh, a lot of uh, uh, students, whether it was interest in art and, and graphic design, or it could be programming, or uh, working with uh, you know engineering, network engineering, and other uh, uh, types of technology, uh, just so many great questions came out of it, and you could tell that they just really um, can are starting to see the relationship to their STEM learnings and future career opportunities. It was a really fun day. My name is Dr. Nicole Haig Jasper. I'm an emergency medicine physician. I love coming out to Vanderlyn during STEM Career Day to talk to the children about being a physician. I get to see these children at, their, at an early age and talk to them about why studying is so important. I get to share with them what I do, and then I get to let all of them dress up, like bring gowns, gloves, face masks, and we get to talk about why those things are important, and the children actually get it. When they go to the hospital or their doctor's office, they see us wearing all these things, but they don't really understand why it's important. Once I let them dress up and we talk about it, it makes sense to them why it's important to wash your hands or wear gloves or wear gowns, and then they get to go home and have that conversation with their family. And this may not seem to be that important, but it actually is because it sparks interest into why we need to take care of ourselves, why you could be a doctor, why you could be anything in life that you want to be, and that's pretty exciting. So thanks for having me back again this year. Hi, I'm Brooke Skelton. I am a physics and astronomy faculty member at Georgia State University, the Dunwoody campus, which is right around the corner here from Vanderlyn Elementary. We think this is a great opportunity for our college students to come here and share their love of, of science, but also to help the, the, the kids in elementary school, the fourth graders, see that everyday people can become scientists and engineers, that these college students that aren't that much older than they are are on their way to being STEM professionals and encouraging the elementary st school students to be able to go on and be college students in STEM fields and then be able to be those professionals or the teachers of STEM fields themselves. It's important for kids to understand how science, technology, engineering, and mathematics connect to the real world. And regardless of what career paths that a student chooses, those critical fields are going to be necessary in order for them to compete in a global and international um, society.